Are you born? I'm born. Oh, you're Kahoma there? You do a uh, fruit salad? Yeah. Fruit salad? Mm. Which one's this? Yeah. Mango? Yeah, guys, so I've arrived here at Ravana Waterfall here in Sri Lanka. And this is what it looks like. Really nice. You can see it goes right up. So this is outside the shop. It's called a roti hut. Definitely check it out when you... So just a quick one. I was told that you got to mix everything together. You put a bit of everything with the rice. Are you born? Vanakam. Good morning from the beautiful Ella city here in Sri Lanka. Right now I'm on an adventure. I'm on a mission to find Ravana waterfalls. I heard it's one of the largest and widest waterfalls here in Sri Lanka and I want to check it out. We'll be meeting people, talking to locals and having a wonderful experience on the way guys. So I don't know how to get to it. So I'm in the city. I need to ask questions. I need to talk to people. So let's start off the journey. I get in the bus to Ravana Cave, guys. Morning, hello. Yeah. Uh, thank you. All right. So on the local bus, heading towards Ravana Waterfall. This is what the local bus looks like. How you doing, my friend? You okay? All right. So that's the front of the bus here. That's the driver. People getting on. Conductor. So I think we're gonna have have a very good day. Do you know Ravana Cave? Mm -hmm. Ra Ravana Cave. No, Ravana waterfall. A waterfall, yeah. Yeah, this yeah. bus goes yeah. there? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. How much kilometers? I think, uh, L L L kilometers. Yeah, I think, uh, seven. Seven. Yeah. Alright, so it'll be about seven kilometers to Ravana waterfall. So, I'm going to just do that and check it out, guys. Thank you so much. Okay. Alright, so, I think I'm going to get myself some fruits before I go to the Waterfalls. Are you born? Oh, you're Kahama there. You do a uh, fruit salad? Yeah. Fruit salad? Mm. Which one's this? Yeah. Mango? 400. Yeah, how much? 400. 400, all right. Bit pricey in this side, but it's to be expected. It's a tourist area. And how much is this one? 100. 100, okay. All right, let me get the mangoes. Mango. Usually you can get it for 250. Crazy? Huh? No spicy, just like that. No, no. Yeah, just like that. I don't like spicy. It's too hot here. Yeah. What's your name? Aram Temata. Aram Temata, okay. Thank you so much. I should, should I say it's Tutti? Yeah, yeah. What way is to the uh, waterfall? Waterfall? Yeah, which way? Is it that way? Good. This way? Oh, okay, all right. So this is her shop guys and you can get mangoes and everything here smaller small ones these are the small ones I had those for some for breakfast this morning so usually what you'll find is when you go to different area prices for thing goes up especially when they're catering for tourists but usually something like this you could get for like I think maybe 200 rupees or something but it's all good we support the local community it's tutti all right another thing you notice when you come here is so much monkeys look at these ones very friendly little creatures that's a close-up of them right here look at all the monkeys that's a baby one up here as well look at that Wow, so these are Wow. Gotta so be careful with the stones here. So it's really stony guys oh wow so come through the side here and we make our way right here 
So guys, this is all of it. We finally arrived. Ravana Waterfalls. Wow. Okay, so this is it. And it's it's what I know you're seeing this one here, but it's bigger than that. It goes right up to that one up there. How do I get to the other side? I think I gotta go this way. Let's see. I got my shoes on. I'm not trying to get wet. These rocks could be very slippery sometimes, so I gotta be careful, guys. All right, let me let me test this. All right. Okay. So we got to one area, and this is it up here. So let me take my shoes off, and then I'll, I'll walk across. Yeah, guys. So I've arrived here at Ravana Waterfall here in Sri Lanka. And this is what it looks like really nice you can see it goes right up to the top up there that's where it starts and it comes down this is considered one of the largest and widest waterfall here in Sri Lanka and you could get close up as well and you can have a swim right in that little pond at the bottom of the waterfall right there so that's really nice and there's a river history here going all the way down that way guys so this is Ravana waterfalls I think one of the things the government could do here in Sri Lanka to make this more a tourist friendly site is to put like walk parks where people can walk right away to the top so they could get a better view of the waterfall. I think that would be much more welcoming and people would appreciate that. You get things like that in Niagara Falls in Canada. There's like walk parks and stuff and you get a close up to the waterfall. I mean, this is good at the bottom, but to get right to the top where it starts will even be a much more exciting and you know a fun way to experience this place here in Sri Lanka at the Ravana waterfall but nevertheless the place is beautiful See? now just to give you a little insight this waterfall is known as Ravana Waterfall. Now, Ravana was a king here in Sri Lanka and it is alleged that he had kidnapped the wife of Rama from India. Her name was Sita. And in kidnapping her, he, he let her stay in a cave which is not too far from here and he allowed her to have her bath here at the Ravana Waterfall. So this is where she had her bath. So that's, that's one story. Another side of the story is that Sita was actually in love with Ravana and this is a waterfall that he had dedicated to her for her to have her shower and bath and things like that so there's different um, history and stuff in the mythology of, of the history of this place but nevertheless it's still a beautiful thing you can do if you come here to Ella hey man. so how are you finding business here in uh, Ella right by Ravana waterfalls it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you, you get a lot of people coming? Yeah, a lot of people, you know, the, but uh, uh, sometimes Russian people, a lot of people here. Okay. So who do you find mostly coming here? Is it more English people or Russian people? Uh, Russian people. A lot of Russian come? Yeah. That's very interesting. Yeah. So what, what are some of the things you have here? What, what do you have? have uh, bangles. These are all bangles? Yeah. And are they real rocks or are they synthetic? This is a real. This, this is tiger is eye. Tiger's eye? How much is this one? This is uh, about three three dollars. Three dollars. Yeah. Okay, you so, said. And how much about is thousand, it? Thousand, uh, thousand one hundred. And in rupees? Thousand one hundred. Thousand one hundred. Okay. All right. It's tiger eye. Tiger's eye. And like you can see. <laughs> oh, these are all stones. This is a tiger eye. Tiger eye stone. Yeah. All right. It's agat. Yeah, yeah. So what? What's the benefit of tiger's eye? Uh, you can see the board. Oh, you have it here? The tiger is thinking. It's or used for healing. Healing, okay. So how much are the stones? About a one, one dollar each. 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 One dollar and each. Different prices, the big one. For the big one, wow. That's really you nice, man. Here? You got quite a few stuff here. Really? And what's your name? I'm Nipun and you? Um, Imani. Imani. Nice yeah, to yeah. nice to meet you too, my friend. Definitely. So yeah, man, this is it here. You know, um, you can come 
it's just located just outside the Ravana waterfalls and you can come and buy something here and this is everything up there so if you're ever in Sri Lanka yeah these are some of the things you can come and check out here at Ravana waterfalls So this is outside the shop, it's called a roti hut. Definitely check it out when you come to Ella. Alright, this is inside the restaurant guys and I'm about to have a meal. And this is what you get here. And it's a really lovely meal. So let me show you what I'm having here. So this here is, this is dal, right? And you also have beetroot. Yeah, this is also a... Uh, beans Sri Lankan beans we have potato and this one here is chicken curry and we also get a rice here as well and we have a type of bread here yeah bumpetas this is a guy that served me come 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 say, come say hello say hello yeah yeah so this is really a lovely meal here you mind telling us about it what what, what we're seeing we are in this plant and traditional style. We're gonna have you know for day three times for the same dish. Okay. Different kind of you know meal, yeah. Yeah, meal. Alright. But we have a lot of Sri Lankan foods in Sri Lanka. Alright. Not like a, only rice and curry. We have uh, plenty of things here. Okay. Like a big two string hoppers right. and coconut protein and all plenty of things are here. Alright. Try one so time then you can see the difference I tell you to do all that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, so he's saying there's different foods here in Sri Lanka, it's not just rice and curry. And you can see it have up here hoppers and different things like that but this is the meal i ordered today so yeah i'm gonna um, taste it and let you know how it goes so i'm gonna start off by putting a bit of the um sauce on the on the rice a bit but you i, I should try this one first all right so i tried this one here this is a sri lankan beans this is it guys Mm. Wow, really nice, rich in spices. There's a bit of chili in there as well. So that really, it's a real nice taste. You could even, I guess, mix it with the rice. So if I put some here, let me see how that goes with the rice that I'm eating, guys. Let's see. Mmm. Nice. This is real authentic Sri Lankan food here, guys. So, and this is also potato, curry potato. All right, so it's it's potato that has been curried. It's nice, and it's not too spicy as well. It's just right, and you could taste the curry in there as well. I think there's even curry leaves as well right here. So that's really interesting. That's nice, and this is really healthy as well beetroot so this is beetroot that's what beetroot looks like mm. nice standard beetroot and then also another thing that's popular here in Sri Lanka you'll also get dal so this is what the dal looks like and it's uh, what piece do you use for the dal is it chickpeas the small piece dal yeah yeah, and what and what's the green? Is it, is it I got to call it that in English? Call it for that better call it Sri Lankan. Oh, okay. But get to it there. All right. And you have onions in there as well. Uh, there are little onions. Yeah, yeah. So you got like the greens, the peas that they use for the dal. Is it jungle vegetable then? Yeah. For the half, red like the whole of you. Okay. The, you know you have stomach. Mhm. Mm stomach for the meat. Okay. Nice. So the, this is very healthy as well from what he's saying, especially if you have certain problems with your stomach and all of that. So that's nice. Nice. It's a bit bit of sweet, but it's really nice. So it's not it's not it's not an overpowering taste. It really tastes nice, especially with the sauce that it comes with, the kind of curry sauce. So this is really nice guys and of course this is the chicken this is the chicken right here taste a little piece 
Mmm. Wow. Really rich curry, curry chicken. Now this is slightly different from maybe the the curry from uh, the Caribbean and stuff, but it's definitely you can taste the curry and it's rich in spices. Yes, sir. Oh wow! Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. You subscribe? Yeah, definitely. Nice, nice. Wonderful. Nice to meet you, sir. All right, that's a subscriber. You see my video on there. You can say hello. All right, thank you. He said you've seen my video. Very good. So yeah, guys, this is a little food review that I'm doing here, and it's really nice. So I'm enjoying the meal that I'm having here. So definitely check the restaurant out when you come here to Ella. So I'm gonna dig in, finish this meal, and I'll catch you in a bit. Peace. So just a quick one. I was told that you gotta mix everything together. You put a bit of everything with the rice. So this is how you're supposed to do it. I'll we'll put a bit of the beetroot in there. All right. And I'll put some of that in there. So you mix it all together, guys. Mix it all together. And let's taste this. Mmm. God, try this out, guys. I'm telling you. This is real. excellent Sri Lankan food so let me finish up with this here and I'll catch you in a bit peace